common birds to fly by Sitting peacefully Hello everyone, today I collected some beautiful berries to make jam. Uh, those are called Cornelius, I think in English, or Cornelio in Italian, and they are uh, from the Cornus mass tree, from the dogwood family. There's a lot of those around here, and it's kind of a forgotten fruit, not a lot of people eat it or uh, forage it, because um, it's kind of sour, it's very sour, it tastes... It's as sour as lemon, I would say, uh, but it is really good to make jams and you can also put it in salted water and then use them like olives and you can also make liquor, but today I'm gonna attempt and make jam with this. I'm really excited. This is how the tree leaves look like. As you can see, they have those uh, deep veins and they are super smooth. And once you learn how to recognize them, they are pretty easy to spot and those are the fruits, which usually are already around late August, at least where I am, which is north of Italy. And um, those are not super red, but you could use those to make the pickles uh, in salted water. And this is how the bark looks like, kind of wrinkled and corrugated. And I've read that the wood of the dogwood tree is actually really good for carving. So I'm looking forward to cut a little piece of uh, green wood and then use that for making a spoon. I was thinking of making a video tutorial on how I make my spoons. Uh, I'm not an expert again, but uh, since you seem to like the pine needle basket video, I thought I could maybe share that as well. So if you would like to see that, then do let me know in the comments. So I washed the berries, there's about a kilo and a half and I'm gonna put about 350 grams of sugar for it but before doing that we need to cook them for a little while. Also I am gonna attempt to make bagels for the first time following this recipe and because in Italy they're just impossible to find so I'm gonna try and make my own, let's see how it goes. delicious I cooked the bagels a little bit too much so they are more crispy than I would like to so next time I'll cook them a little bit less so they can be a little bit chewier but they're not that hard to make I was a bit scared about the boiling part because you need to boil them and then cook them in the oven but actually it was quite an easy process as for the jam it is so delicious for a kilo of the fruit you get about half of pulp because a lot of it, a lot of the weight is pits. So with 500 grams, you don't get a lot actually. This is what I got: two little jars and a little bit of a bigger one. So you need a lot of it if you want to make a good stack for the winter. But it tastes like sour and tangy and sweet, and I can't really think of any other fruit that tastes like this. But I would definitely give it a try if you have, if you have seen this um, tree around your house. I usually find them 
at the edges of forests, of coniferous forests in uh, southern Europe anyway and let me know if you have them in your country Today I need to start making a little progress on this thing over here I need to cut pretty much well, most of the trees there are there to make space for an orchard and yeah, I want to plant fruit trees over there pretty much everything that you see is not really uh, good trees or plants I'm gonna try and save anything that looks like could be useful but otherwise everything else is gonna go and I have been procrastinating this because it's been so hot and this is gonna be a big job to make the whole experience a little bit nicer I've got a little bit of homemade home brewed kombucha and then I brought out my music speaker and I've attached it to the Jackery uh, 1000 Explorer this thing a lot of you have asked how I'm finding it and it is so good I so wish I had this when I was traveling the van it would have saved me so much trouble uh, but basically it's a, a power bank uh, with about I think it's 46 AH uh, I will leave their links in the description bar so you can have a look but it can power um, appliances up to a thousand watts it has two outlet two AC outlets where you can plug things in and don't mind my <laughs> my attachments here I couldn't find the proper one um, it also comes with UK uh, plugs if you're in the UK and it has uh, a car thingy outlet it has USB outlets it has everything you can ever need and it has a cool display that shows you the um, battery uh, status you can charge it from the car cigar socket but they also give you a, a battery charger cable so you can charge it directly from the mains and uh, the coolest thing uh, is the solar panels they actually sent me two solar panels and that's what I charged it with so far those are the two 100 watt solar panels that I've got and uh, they're not connected now just because the Sun has gone down but those are super carryable pretty lightweight things I love that they like um, fold and they become a little bit smaller you can pretty much plug anything on this thing so if you are in the market for a uh, power bank with lots of outlets and it's pretty portable considering the power that it has um, then I will leave the links on the description bar they did send this for free but they're not sponsoring this video all opinions are my own and that's why I also waited so long to give a little review because I wanted to use it and put it to the test and I am happy but without further ado let's tackle this mess I need help The sky is open wide And the desert is so vast But our life spins out like comets Fading into dust This is hard work <laughs> It's 8 o'clock and it's fresh but I'm still sweating profusely um, I know what you're thinking it probably would be better to do this job in winter possibly when there's le less greenery um, but I do have a few uh, fruit trees that I need to plant I have an olive tree as well and a pear tree that I need to plant and also I need to clear this out so I can really understand how much space I've got because I still haven't quite understood <sighs> oh. You know when it's summer and you're sweating and you dream of winter, of being cold and then in winter you dream of being sweaty in summer? This is the human experience of, I guess, never being content where you are. Mm. But this kombucha is the bomb. This is the result of three hours of work. What have I done? Like five square meters? Anyway, uh, there's still a lot of work and I just wanted to show you how far this goes. 
there's another three meters I'd say and then you have the road that brings up to the house over there do let me know which trees you think I should plant here in the comments uh, I'd like things that are not too hard to maintain things that I can just let grow and don't need a lot of attention if that's possible but yeah I think there's gonna be still la 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 of hours of work here Yesterday at the lake I found a tree that had really stringy bark I don't know exactly what tree it was and it had stayed in the water for a long long while so I collected some of the bark and I'm gonna attempt and try and use the pulp to make a rope I had seen this in a video I think they were putting uh, willow bark in the water for like a few months to be able to get this kind of string so I'm gonna attempt and see if it works out now that I have all the pulp I'm gonna attempt and make them all of a similar size of strips so that it's easier to work with take two similar uh, width of strips and I'm gonna twist them in different directions to and then twist them again to obtain a braid but I'll show you closer so you can see what I'm doing Here is the rope. I actually got quite a bit. I wasn't expecting to have this much. Now I'm just gonna cut the ends of those little edges off, which is where I would add new string. And then I'm done. This was super easy to make and it's local, it's free and I think I'm gonna go and collect more bark and make maybe a thicker one and I think I'm gonna go in now because we're gonna get some rain I think as you can see I'm wearing a jacket because the sun, the heat is gone uh, it looks like autumn is coming but anyhow I hope I'll see you very soon <laughs>